Well, hello there folks and a very warm welcome as usual back to what's for tea and i hope that i find you very well indeed so tonight for tea i've made traditional mince and tatties and you know this is one of our absolute favorites you'll find this in most dinner tables through the week in scotland at some point you know it's just so easy to put together and just so tasty as well so i'm going to run you through everything that i've used but all of these ingredients will be in the show more box or the description box underneath the video you know it's really simple and if you haven't tried this i you know i do hope you give it a go so i've got some potatoes i've got some onions i've also got some beef stock i'm using oxo but you can use whatever you like i've got some corn flour and obviously the minced beef there i've got this one from the local butcher and then a couple of diced carrots as well we're going to be having some mashed swede at the side or turn up a rutabaga whatever you want to call it and that's completely optional so you want to get some oil in the bottom of a pan get that nice and hot and to that you can add your carrots give them a good stir around to get coated in the oil and let these cook for between five and ten minutes you're just looking to soften these up quite a good bit because you want to take the raw edge off of these and then we're going to throw in the onion this is one large onion i finely diced but if you don't have a big onion just use a couple of small ones or a medium one and pop some salt on the top and that's going to help your onions to sweat down a wee bit quicker and get softer a wee bit faster so give that another five minutes with your lid on get your lid off and then just give it a good stir through and just make sure it's nice and soft or you know your carrots are getting nice and soft and then the next thing we're going to do is pop in your minced beef now all i would say is get the best minced beef that you can like i said mine is from the local butcher and it's going to make a big big difference if you use a good quality mince or ground beef so just break all that up and make sure it's well browned all over just keep moving around and stirring it around and eventually it will be you know browned all over it might take you about five minutes or so but this is well worth doing properly so just keep going until you're happy and now we're going to pop in the stock now the amount of stock you put in is completely up to you i'm going to pop in 300 ml but i've got 500 ml there because i might need some later on i ended up not using it so i've used 300 ml we do like a you know a good bit of gravy in this but not too much we don't like really watery mince we do like it quite thick so this is down to your own personal preference but let that simmer away for about half an hour meanwhile you can go on with your tatties so these are just some potatoes with some cold water and just let these get up to the boil the reason it's just a shallow amount of water is because if you try and you know if you try and boil these in a whole pot of cold water it's going to take you about a fortnight before they start boiling so i like to just put a wee bit of cold water in and then add some more boiling water from the kettle just make sure you put a good dash of salt in there once they're boiling and then just exactly the same with your swede just enough cold water to cover your swede let it go up to the boil and then once it's at the boil you can fill up the rest of your pan with some boiling water from your kettle just like this and then you can go and add your salt as well plenty of salt and just let this simmer away the same as your potatoes for about half an hour just until they get nice and tender and slipping off of your knife when you poke them and then just drain the water out i'm going to add a wee knob of butter and also a splash of cream and a splash of milk again you don't need to do this i'm just showing you exactly what i do when i do my mince and tatties i just like to give mine a good mash until they're nice and smooth and lump free i'm just going to add another wee bit of milk into this because i do want them quite loose so just keep going until you're happy and i was happy with these ones now you can just set these to the side whilst you get your swede prepared again if your swede is nice and tender just drain out the water and i'm going to pop another wee knob of butter in there and a dash of white pepper and i think this makes all the difference but it has to be white pepper it's just not the same with black pepper and again just give these a good mash to your own liking or you, you know you, you don't need to mash it at all if you don't want to but i like to mash these to the, about the same consistency as the mashed potato and by now your minced beef should be ready for your thickener and this has been going for about half an hour and i'm just checking there to make sure 
there is plenty of liquid still there and there is if it's quite dry at this point you can add a wee bit more of your beef stock but i was happy with this so i've just mixed one tablespoon of corn flour or corn starch with one tablespoon of cold water and just add as much as you need just to thicken this up to your own liking you might not need it all or you might need it all it really just depends how thick you want this and i was happy with this i used about 90 percent of mine i think yeah and just let this simmer away for a few minutes and it will thicken up another wee bit and this is exactly how i like mine so that is your mince now done your tatties are waiting and ready to be served and so is your sweets and all you have to do now is serve so i like to use a bowl just because of the gravy i usually put my potatoes on first followed by the swede and then the mince but you can do this in any order that you prefer you know everybody is different and i don't think there's anyone in scotland that doesn't know how to make this but if you're one of the folk that doesn't then i hope you find this one helpful and do let me know if you're planning on giving it a go so thank you for watching if you're leaving at this point and a big thank you as usual to the supporters of the channel over on my patreon page to the channel members here on youtube and for you all for watching leaving your lovely comments giving the video a like and for those that share the videos as well it's all very much appreciated and i will catch up with you during the week for another wee recipe or shopping unbagging or even back on sunday for meals of the week but whenever you choose to join me again have a wonderful rest of your day and i'll catch you off as soon back here on what's for tea take care and bye for now bye now